Hey, Alvin, what was your um, hurricane experience like yesterday? Power's still out, so <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Like, yeah, just kind of going through it. Uh, I mean, shit, the power went out and it was raining, it was windy. I'm from Atlanta, we don't really deal with hurricanes, but then my sister called me and told me her power went out too. So, I don't know, it's just one of those things you can't, it's, it's nature, it's like, damn. I'll be heading to the Bay Area in a couple has being like a thousand yard receiver and thousand yard rusher, is, is that like a goal of yours at all? Or has that been something you wanted to achieve? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I would be lying if I say no. But, you know, um, I just kind of do what I got to do. Like I've always said, to do what I got to do to help the team win. So, you know, rushing, receiving, returning, any anything. Like that's just a part of the game. So I kind of try to do it all. And I know the Saints like kind of like to manage your touches and whatnot. I mean, did, is part of that where you kind of recognize maybe you could have already achieved that, but just because of the management style, maybe it doesn't always work out that way? It might be. I don't know. I just do my job. I got a job to do. <laughs> Alvin, how good have your, has the offensive line been in space so far this season? Um I'm talking about in the screen game and the outside run game at the second level. How good have they been downfield? Man, they've been great. They've been awesome. Um, I think it's something that, you know, if you look across the league, um, some teams can't do that, you know. And I think with with our line being so athletic and, and, and being good, I mean, not only in that aspect, but, you know, just – just movement and pass pro and things like that. When they get down the field, it's like they don't miss a beat. Um, I mean, they take take as much pride in that as they do protecting Drew. Hey, Alvin. Alvin, you're off to a pretty historic start, one of the more productive starts of your career. Uh, what do you attribute this, this good start uh, to right now? Uh, just health. Um, you know, being healthy, being able to be healthy um, – and, you know, just opportunity. Uh, you know, last year was a down year, just dealing with some injuries and things like that. And, you know, just being able to, you know, refocus during the off season and, and come back healthy and, and you know, ready and, and just hungry to play and succeed, you know. And then, of course, just the success of the team, you know, it comes with, you know, being able to um, have individual success. So team success, obviously, uh, is a big part in that, too, you know. But, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to be out there playing and producing and doing what I got to do. You're, you're averaging about 20, 20 touches a game, which I think is the highest in your career. I wonder, are you are you feeling it on Mondays? And, and have you developed like a body maintenance routine to, to take care of that? Oh, yeah, I've always had a routine. But uh, I feel, I mean, on Mondays, I feel good. I feel uh, it's not like a moment where I'm rolling out of bed and I'm like, uh, 20 touches. I feel good, you know. I mean, if you do what you got to do to take care of your body, um, you know, it starts right after the game with me. So, I feel I feel fine. Sean was talking about earlier about just how smart you are on the field, and Drew was saying you're the guy in the that can kind of help if somebody doesn't know a play call or anything like that. But Sean was also saying he has to come up with ways to keep your focus. Is is <laughs> is the game just is the game just easy for you? Like, is there just times in the meetings where it's just like you get it so quick that like it's it's just easy? Yeah, it's it's. I, that's like the ongoing joke with me, like, you know, my attention span with, when it comes to some of these things, because, you know, I do kind of pride myself in being smart and be, uh, being able to retain information. So, you know, it's times where, you know, even Coach, Coach Thomas, I'm talking to him and I'm like, yo, just chill. Like, I got it. <laughs> you know, it's like a lot of times it, they're trying to tell me, you know, hey, you got this or you got this on this play. And I'm like, I got it. It may seem like I don't because I'm kind of like, I just kind of try to have fun and keep it light. So, you know, they always checking on me like, you know what you got? I'm like, yeah, I got it. So, uh, I don't know. Sean, funny, he got to get me a fidget spinner again. He got me a fidget spinner like two years ago. But he ain't, he ain't come up with nothing to keep me occupied yet. So, I'm waiting on that. Uh, okay. Well, Bryce, is, is there anything that, that just, uh, when you watch back on film, you're like, damn, how did I do that? Uh, Not really. I'll be knowing. I'm trying to score and I'm trying to not get hit and not get touched. So, that's pretty much like the goal of the game <laughs> for me. 
Well, uh, kind of following up, uh, is there anything or any part of the game that you feel you know you've had to work at since you know it does sort of seem like a lot of it looks real effortless to you? Uh, man, I think I think with pass protection, I think that's always not to say I'm bad at it, but that's all. It's always like an evolving thing with pass protection because so many teams, like especially, I think I feel like when they play us, it's like a new wrinkle they throw in their game. So. You know, even though it's easy, it comes easy to me. It's like it's it's sometimes it's so easy that I might just get lazy and you know my eyes be somewhere else drifting off. So I kind of got to remind myself to just lock in a little bit more and and be more attentive to so just so, certain details when it comes to pass protection. But I think that's about it. Were you happy you got a chance to throw a pass in the game, even if it was backwards pass? Right? The <laughs> yeah, pass it was. Right it was it was backwards and it was a little ugly, but. Um, you know, I'm, I think I'm, I'm trying to petition to throw a ball down the field. I don't know. Next time I get a swing or something, I might just tell, like, TQ to just run it, run a goal, and I might just launch it or something. It's like one of them, like, one of them bad moments that turn into a good moment. Like, what is he doing? And then it's like, yeah, touchdown. So, I don't know. I need to throw the ball. I feel like my arm getting a little tired. Well, it's not. It's getting tired because it's not getting used. It's bored. <laughs> the uh, the broadcast said you won, like, a, like a competition in practice. I might, I may have. I'm good at. Th- I can throw the ball. I can throw the ball. That's what I. I need. I need to display my talent. Alvin, do you, do you feel like it's been tough mentally at all on the team, just not knowing since week one, like whether or not Mike Thomas is going to be able to play from a health standpoint, or or has that not really crossed your mind too much? Uh, I think everybody. I mean, in our league in this game, I mean, we all know it's a hundred percent injury rate. So it's week week to week managing injuries, man, getting getting to one hundred percent, and you know everybody has a duty to do that. You know you can't. It's not when injuries gonna come. I mean, it's not our injuries gonna come. It's when they're gonna come and, and managing that. And as a team, as an offense specifically, I think we've done a good job of managing those injuries. You know, certain people go down, somebody else has to step in, step up, um, and then Mike individually, he's doing what he has to do to get back healthy. So you know, he has to do what he has to do and get healthy. And um, hopefully, you know, we, we can't wait to have him back. You know, he's a big part of our offense. 